So let's say I wanted to find the equation of the circle that passes through the points 0 minus 6, 0 minus 4, and 1 minus 3. Okay, so here is my circle. So I'm just going to draw a picture so that I can visualize what's going on. If it's tricky, we draw a picky. So 0 minus 6 and 0 minus 4. And this one, uh, 1 minus 3, is over to the right and a little bit higher than the other two. So we're going to look at something like, uh, let's pop there and there. So A here would be our 0 minus 6. And here's B, 0 minus 4. And C is 1 along and uh, one up from there, so something like that. So here's C, uh, 1 minus 3. Okay, so this is where bounce they are. So what do I need to do here? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the perpendicular bisector of two pairs of these. So first of all, I'm going to look at A and B. I'm going to find, well, because this is just a vertical line, it's relatively straightforward to find the perpendicular bisector, but I've got to find the midpoint, and then from the midpoint, draw my line, okay, so that will be the perpendicular bisector of A and B, and then I'm going to find the perpendicular bisector, well, of B and C, let's do B and C, it doesn't matter which pair I choose here, Okay, I'm just doing this because it's easier to visualise it. And then I find the midpoint, I find the perpendicular bisector, and draw my line. Okay, so there's my perpendicular bisector. And you'll notice that both of those lines go through the origin, oh, sorry, well, not the origin, sorry, the centre of the circle. Um, so, this will happen regardless of what circle you're dealing with. So if you've got three points, pair them up. So I'm going to be working with A and B, first of all. Work out the perpendicular bisector. Then pair up B and C, perpendicular bisector. Where those perpendicular bisectors intersect is the centre of the circle. Okay? And then I'm part way on my way to finding the equation. So let's work with A and B first. So first of all, find the midpoint of A, B. So midpoint. So 0 plus 0 divided by 2 is 0. Minus 6 plus minus 4 divided by 2 will be minus 5, of course. So this point here is going to be 0 minus 5. Now, the next thing I would do in general is find the gradient of this line, then use the negative reciprocal. But because this is a vertical line, I know that it's just going to be a horizontal line, okay, for the negative, well, for the perpendicular bisector. So this line is just going to be y equals minus 5. So y equals minus 5 is what I want for that first one. OK? So that one's pretty straightforward to do. So now let's look at b and c. So midpoint first. 0 plus 1 divided by 2 is 1 half. Minus 4 plus minus 3 is minus 7, divided by 2 is minus 7 halves. So we've got our midpoint. Now we need to work out the gradient between B and C. So the gradient of BC is going to be the difference in the y coordinates, so minus 4, take away minus 3, divided by 0, take away 1. So minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1 over minus 1, and of course that's just 1. So the negative reciprocal of that would just be minus 1. So the perpendicular bisector will be y take away y1, so plus 7 halves, is equal to the gradient, which is minus 1, times x take away x1, so x take away 1 half. So this is the equation of the perpendicular bisector, so that line there. Okay. So what I can then do is I don't need to rearrange this into any other form. I can just substitute y equals minus 5 into this. 
So minus 5 plus 7 halves is equal to minus 1 times this, so minus x plus 1 half. Okay. So minus 5 plus 7 halves, uh, take away a half, and then it's the negative of that, so that would be 2. So this point here is 2 minus 5. So I've now found the centre of my circle. The next thing I need to do is I need to work out the radius of the circle. Now to do this, you just need to choose um, any of uh, your points that you know that lie on the circle and find the distance from one of them to the point. So I'm just going to focus in on these two points. Here is a right angled triangle. And uh, we've got a distance from 0 to 2, so that base will be 2. And then from minus 5 to minus 4, so that will be 1. So that means that the radius is going to be the square root of 1 squared plus 2 squared. So that would be root 5. So I've now got all the pieces that I need. I know the centre of the circle, 2 minus 5, I know the radius. So the equation of the circle would have to be x take away 2 squared plus y plus 5 squared is equal to r squared, which is 5. And so that is the equation of the circle.